Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and today I am back to share with you how I made this little slimline note holder and let you know how you can download a printable for free so you can create your own. I hope you'll stick around, see how I made it and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. This past Wednesday, as part of my Crafty Christmas Collab 2020 final video, I shared a look at this kind of to-do list, weekly planner, slimline clipboard that I created. Today I'm going to show you how I created it, and then at the end of the video I'll let you know how you can download a free four-page PDF so you can make your own. Before I get started on the process, I will tell you about some of the items I'll be using, but if I add anything later on, I will be sure to let you know. As always, if I leave you with any questions, leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. First of all, for my project today, I will be using the printable file that I created. Originally, it was just a three up of this weekly layout, but after I asked you what you would use this for, I went ahead and created three more pages that you can choose which one to print and use. I have a shopping list, a to-do list with check boxes, and just notes pages. So you could print out one of them or you could print out a combination of all of them. Again, I'll let you know how you can download this at the end of the video. For the clipboard itself, I'm using a piece of, I would call it heavier weight chipboard. If you went to a local copy shop and got some copies padded, you know, into a glued notepad, this is the backer that would be on it. Now, if you don't have chipboard, you could always upcycle some cardboard boxes like from cereal or from crackers. I would just suggest though putting at least two layers of that together. I will also be decorating this binder clip. I call this a medium size because you'll see the other two sizes that you're able to buy. And finally, I'll be using some pattern papers and scraps from the Cartabella Home Again paper collection. Let's get crafty! To cut my chipboard today, I am bringing in a trimmer that you rarely see me use here on my channel, but it is one that I love to have. This is a pretty heavy duty trimmer and I will be able to cut through the chipboard just in one cut. Speaking of chipboard, that's what I'm bringing in now. I cut this piece to 9 inches tall and then I cut it into two pieces that were 4 inches wide. I will only be using one of these pieces today for my project, but I'll have that extra if I want to make another one of these. I did go ahead and bring back in my regular trimmer that you see me use here all the time and I want to show you that it can cut chipboard but it probably won't cut through all at one time. You might have to slice it back and forth. I went ahead and kept out my regular trimmer and I cut two pieces of the pattern paper that were four by nine inches. One of these will go on the front and one will go on the back of my piece of chipboard. Now I'm gonna cut my piece of wood grain paper to fit on my binder clip. Now you'll probably wanna measure your own binder clip to make sure it's the same, but mine is one and a quarter inches wide, so that is what I'm gonna trim that piece of wood grain to. Later, I'll cut it down to the final size. For my note holder today, I will be focusing on the shopping list. I also created this piece as inspiration for my friend Danny's challenge group on Facebook and she gave us three different options and I chose to go with the shopping option. The challenge group is called There's a Stamp for that, but don't worry you don't always have to stamp. I will put a link in the description box below if you want to check that out. 
There is some fine print on the side of each of the PDF pages, and I've also given cutting directions. These shopping lists end up being three and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall when they're cut down. So that means that you just cut them into three strips that are three and a half inches wide. I will be cutting two pieces at a time. I actually use the shopping list and the notes pages, and you'll just wanna make sure if you do this that you hold those nice and firmly so that when you move them, they stay where they should and everything gets cut evenly. Now it's time to start putting this together. I add adhesive to the back of both pieces of pattern paper, and then I place these onto each side of that chipboard. I do try to line it up as well as I can before I press it down firmly. Now it's probably never going to be perfect. You're always gonna have kind of a raw edge and you might see the chipboard. So for me, I brought in a gray ink pad, thinking it went with the vases on the pattern paper, and I just inked the edges. I also inked that original one, but for that one I used black since the pattern paper was red and black. When I do the inking on this, I make sure to get each edge from both sides of the chipboard. So you'll see I did the front side, flipped it over, and did the back side. Now I'm going to cover that binder clip. Since my strip is already cut down to the same width, I just wrap it around the binder clip and where I think I need to cut it, I just make a little mark with my fingernail. This really doesn't have to be perfect. To cut this down, I brought in my Fiskars little photo trimmer. I love this to make quick little cuts. I found that indentation and I sliced off the extra. To make sure this sticks, I do add a lot of adhesive to the back of that piece. I pretty much cover the entire thing. This might be a good time to use your little mini Xyron if you have one of those X's, otherwise the ATG works. I would just avoid liquid glue for this. Once that adhesive is on there, I wrap it around the binder clip, making sure to use some extra pressure. Off camera, I cut down some more of the printables. I ended up with 21 pieces here, which was seven of the eight and a half by 11 prints. And even with that many sheets, there was still more room left in that binder clip that you could always print more if you wanted to. And since it was right there and handy, I went ahead and started my grocery list for the next time I'm at the store. Here's a look at the finished project. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it was to create this slimline note holder. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now here's how you're gonna get the printable if you would like to make this for yourself. All the way at the bottom of the description box below is a link to a PDF file. Now this PDF file is password protected. I will give you that password here in just a minute, but please keep in mind I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on that link and download the file. This is provided free for your personal use. You may use this and give stuff away as gifts, but please do not share the file, sell the file, or share the products you make using it. If it is something that you wanted to sell at a craft fair or to people who buy things from you, shoot me an email at callmecraftyal at gmail.com and I can let you know how to purchase the rights to be able to sell stuff using this. The password you're going to need to open and print the file is capital C M C A capital S L I M. So call me Crafty Al Slim. That password is also typed below the link at the bottom of the description box. Let me know which of the pages you'll be using first to create a slimline note holder. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.